guys! Welcome to Tuesday night's devotional. Tonight's devotional is a pray, to pray with certainty. So let's um, go ahead and pray and we'll get started. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to study your word. And Lord, I just pray for each and every one that will watch this video. In Jesus' name, amen. So, praying with certainty. So I've got a spoiler alert for you. God knows what you need before you ever pray for it. He knows what you want before you pray for the hut too. God still wants us to pray for these things. He wants us to be honest and direct with him. There's no hiding the truth from God, so don't hold anything back. So kids, when you want something from someone, do you always ask for it directly or do you prefer to hint around it? Parents, do you always ask directly for things that you want? It's okay to be honest. I'll be honest, sometimes I don't directly ask for what I want, and I just try to hint around it and give a good idea of what I may want. Who has something on their minds that they really want right now? So Hannah had a very big ask. She wanted a son more than anything, and she did not hold back telling God how she felt. God heard Hannah's prayer, and he blessed her. So let's turn in our Bibles to 1 Samuel chapter 1. We're going to read verses 1 through 20. So starting in verse 1. There was a man from Ramatham Zophim in the hill country of Ephraim. His name was Elkanah, son of Jeroam, son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Zeph, and Aphrodite. He had two wives, the first named Hannah and the second, Peaniah. Peaniah had children, but Hannah was childless. This man would go up from his town every year to worship and to sacrifice to the Lord of hosts at Shiloh, where Eli's two sons, Ahmai and Phinehas, were the Lord's priests. Whenever Elkanah offered a sacrifice, he always gave portions of the meat to his wife, Piana, and to each of her sons and daughters. But he gave a double portion to Hannah, for he loved her even though the Lord had kept her from conceiving. Her rival would taunt her severely, just to provoke her, because the Lord had kept Hannah from conceiving. Whenever she went up to the Lord's house, her rival taunted her in this way every year. Hannah wept and would not eat. Hannah, why are you crying? Her husband Elkanah asked. Why won't you eat? Why are you troubled? Am I not better? Oops, sorry, I clicked something. Am I not better to you than ten sons? Hannah got up after they ate and drank at Shiloh. Eli the priest was sitting on a chair by the doorpost of the Lord's tabernacle. Deeply hurt, Hannah prayed to the Lord and wept with many tears. Making a vow, she pleaded, Lord of hosts, if you will take notice of your servant's affliction, remember and not forget me and give your servant a son. I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life and his hair will never be cut. While she continued praying in the Lord's presence, Eli watched her lips. Hannah was praying silently and though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli thought she was drunk and scolded her. How long are you going to be drunk? Get rid of your wine. No, my lord, Hannah replied. I am a woman with a broken heart. I haven't had any wine or beer. I've been pouring out my heart before the Lord. Don't think of me as a wicked woman. I've been praying from the depth of my anguish and resentment. Eli responded, Go in peace. And may the God of Israel grant the petition you've requested from him. May your servant find favor with you, she replied. Then Hannah went on her way. She ate and no longer looked despondent. The next morning, Elkanah and Hannah got up early to bow in worship before the Lord. Afterward, they returned home to Ramah. Then Elkanah was intimate with his wife Hannah, and the Lord remembered her. After some time, Hannah conceived and gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel because she said, I requested him from the Lord. So, what does this mean for y'all? 
If there's something that you want or need, tell God when you pray. Give it to him straight and don't hold back. If you want everyone else to pray for that, then speak up and let's pray about it. Let's be honest with God and share what's on our hearts. So if you guys have something you would like me to join you in praying for, please feel free to have your parents send me an email or you can drop a comment on the video, however um, you're comfortable doing that, and I would be happy to pray with you. Until then, I'll see you tomorrow night.